Hey everybody, what is up? This is Gavin Bruno here. It has been such a long time since I made a video, and it has also been such a long time since you've seen me, guys, and since I've done a reaction video or a video with me, or it's been a while since I've done an actual video for my YouTube channel since, um, well, literally since right before I saw A Quiet Place Part 2, and right before I saw Spiral from the Book of Saw, because those two were like random videos of when I saw those two movies and telling you that I was going to go see those movies and on what I'm going to think of them and on what's going to happen. So yeah, those were the two random movies that I saw and I was going to see. And so yeah, those were two of the random videos, but... It actually has been a very, very long time since um, I've made an actual uh, video for my YouTube channel and or of myself. And so, yeah, I was going to have two other videos that I made earlier, earlier today. But I thought, well, I'll explain that later. I'll explain that later. But anyways, today is going to be the most ultimate. I repeat, it's going to be the most ultimate reaction video that we are ever going to have, that we are ever going to get, and that we've all been waiting for, all right? It's going to be one of the bestest reaction videos that I am ever going to make and that I'm ever going to have, and it's something that I'm never going to forget, all right? It's something that I am never going to forget, all right? All right. So yeah, welcome back to the channel of Gavin Bruno. This is Gavin Bruno here. Welcome back. So yeah, we're gonna be once again reacting to another official trailer to a very awesome yet very special movie that we've been waiting for since uh of of October of 2020. But unfortunately, due to you know what, it had to be pushed back one year from now in 2021, which is this year, this movie is a few more months away, which we're finally getting there after a full year, unfortunately, that we had to wait for. And two tiny teaser trailers came out for this movie and teased us a little bit on what it's going to be about, what it's going to show, and what it's all going to mean. And, man, like, when I first saw that, when I first saw that when that was going to be pushed back a year, I was upset. I was really, really upset that the, that the movie was going to be pushed back. I was very upset about it, and I didn't want to wait, all right? I wanted to see the movie... Uh, in October of 2020 that we've all been waiting for and I really really wanted to see it and I really really was looking forward to the official trailer that we were supposed to get several months ago and um yeah I was looking forward to seeing this movie all right I was looking forward to seeing this movie all right and I am gonna tell you this is gonna be the most the ultimate reaction the ultimate uh, reaction video that I am ever going to make and that I'm ever going to remember of my entire life, all right? Of my entire life. Because today's movie trailer that we are going to react to is The Halloween Kills, the official trailer, all right? We're going to react to The Halloween Kills, the official trailer, all right? The official trailer is going to be out. They're going to release much more new footage that we have not seen before since we've seen other brand new footage in the other two teaser trailers. And they're finally going to show it to us. We're finally going to see what Halloween Kills is going to be about and how it's going to continue off from Halloween 2018, which we all know about since I've seen it a bunch of times throughout the past couple years. And um, I really love Halloween, all right? I really love Halloween. It is one of my favorite horror movies in my list of 
uh, the horror movie genre. And um, so yeah, I am looking forward to Halloween Kills. It is the number one movie that I am looking for in all of, well, let's just say 2021, all right? In all of 2021. And so, um, yes, we're going to be reacting to the official trailer, all right? To the official trailer of Halloween Kills, all right? We're going to be reacting to it today. I've been wanting to see this since last year. And it's finally here. We're finally going to react to it. And I can't wait, all right? I can't wait, all right? I've been wanting to react to it since last year, but we couldn't since it got pushed back to a year and so anyways i'll explain some more later let's not waste time let's do this That was effing awesome. That was effing awesome. We have got a lot to talk about. We have so much a lot to talk about. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. They released a lot of footage. They released a lot of footage from Halloween Kills, alright? This is totally gonna be worth it, alright? This is totally gonna be worth the movie that I'm gonna go see. I will go see whatever it takes. No exceptions, all right? No exceptions, all right? I will go see this movie when it comes out. 
on October 15th of this year of 2001, 21, all right? And so, man, that was awesome. That was awesome. I told you this was gonna be the bestest reaction video, the ultimate reaction video that I'll ever make in my entire life. And it is something that I'm going to remember, all right? It's something I'm going to remember since I'm recording it. And so anyways, we have a lot to talk about, all right? We have a lot to talk about. <clears throat> yeah, so anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah. So yeah, now like I was saying, I was looking forward to seeing Halloween Kills, literally. I was looking, literally looking forward to seeing this, literally since last year of October of 2020, that it was supposed to be coming out. But unfortunately, due to you know what, it had to screw up that, and it had to be pushed back a year of 2021, all right? And since because of that, we had to wait in an entire year, which really, really made me upset, all right? It, it really made me mad, which is why you saw me mad in my <coughs> first teaser video in the first place, all right? Which is why you saw me mad in, in my very first teaser video in the first place. So yeah, I, I was really upset. And I didn't feel like waiting, but we don't have a choice, all right? We we don't have a choice. Yeah, but you know what? I guess it was worth the wait. I guess it was worth the wait. Because if the official trailer would have came out several months ago with the movie, things would have been different, all right? Things would have been different. I would have been more excited. I would have seen it earlier. Everybody would be seeing the movie right now and having their opinions and whoever knows about it, but I don't want to talk about that just yet, all right? I don't want to talk about that just yet, all right? All right. And um, so, yeah, I've been looking forward to this movie I know Jamie Lee Curtis is going to do an awesome badass job because she is a badass. And um, I know that uh, Andy, uh, that that uh, girl, Andy, that plays, uh, what's her name? I, uh, what's her name? What's her name? I know it's not Karen. Uh, what's the daughter's name of Karen? Uh, uh, what's her, what's her name? I know it's not Karen. Uh, I know it's not Lily Strode. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Lily Strode, Karen, and... Um, what's her name? What's her name? The, uh, Andy's character's name. What's Andy's character's name? Well, if I remember her name, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to this movie. This is the number one movie that I'm looking forward to. It's going to pick up right where Halloween uh, 2018 left off, which I've seen a bunch of times. I really love that movie. I really love Halloween. It's one of my favorite uh, horror movies in my list of horror movies in the horror movies genre. And um, I really like the characters. They're really, really awesome. And I love the story. It's very compelling and it's very good. And it, it really shows us a lot. And um, I like John Carpenter's uh, creation because... Um, because it's because it's really really scary. He he knows how to come up with these horror characters and movies, and it's better than Friday the Thirteenth. It's better than Friday the Thirteenth. So yeah, it's better than Friday the Thirteenth because I didn't really like Friday the Thirteenth that much. It was a ripoff of Halloween, and um, because I think Halloween and Michael Myers is much more scarier. They have characters that we get to know, and they have story. They have a story that we also get to know. Friday the Thirteenth, um, pretty much has random characters that that comes up with a random story, with a random killer that we 
don't know that much about. And I, ju I just didn't like it. I didn't like it, all right? That's not how horror movies work, all right? That's not how horror movies work, all right? If you're going to make a horror movie or at least a regular movie, you have to write a good story and pay attention to, and it has to be good, and you have to make characters with their backstory, and you have to get to know the characters. So yeah, yeah. And so anyways, um, yeah, you have to get to know the characters and the story in order to make a movie or whatever, whatever it is. And so yeah, um, yeah. But anyways, this is gonna pick off where the last movie um, uh, last left off on because we all know and prepare for major spoilers if you haven't seen the last movie. Basically, during the ending of the movie, Laurie Strode is looking for the is looking for Michael Myers in her trap house that she's been preparing him for forty years, and Michael Myers is looking for her as well. And Karen and Andy's character, I can't remember what her name is right now, are are trying to help out Laurie Strode as well. And basically, they help, they help, like, while Laurie Strode fights him throughout the house, and while he was looking for him, including Michael Myers doing the same thing, he's looking for her, and he tries to fight her and kill her too. Then, later on, after that, um, Karen and Andy and Laurie Strode finally get him, they trick him, and they have him fall into that trap into uh, her house, into her fire house that uh, she's been preparing for him after 40 years of the very first events of the 1978 Halloween, after she almost got killed by Michael Myers, and luckily she survived, all right? Luckily she survived from him, and, and so yeah. And so after that, she, uh, she, trapped him into the underground basement with all the guns and wait what yeah with all the guns and everything and so yeah yeah she trapped him in the basement with all the guns and michael myers is trapped he can't get out and um he tries to climb his way to get out and kill them but you know, they trap him in. And then after that, Laurie Strode goes to these uh, fire switches and activates all the fire, whatever it's called. And she starts lighting the entire house on fire. All right. She starts, she starts lighting the entire house on fire. That way she can burn the boogeyman. That way she can burn Michael Myers alive. Or could Michael Myers really be the boogeyman? Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? And so anyways, um, <clears throat> and so yeah, after, so yeah, she, yeah, and then she gets her lighter, her, you know, her lighter, and she says, goodbye, Michael Myers. And she drops a flare in there, that way she can, have the fire spread out through and he can burn him alive to, to death. I wonder how they were able to manage that with James Jude Courtney, who played Michael Myers. Hmm. 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 Yeah, so anyways, anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah. And then after that, uh, they get out of the house. They see a, a oncoming truck that's coming by. The the oncoming uh, trucker is uh, helps them get Laurie Strode onto the truck, and they both uh, get onto the truck, and they expect they ask ask him to drive Laurie Strode to the hospital after she got stabbed by Michael Myers while fighting him, and um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so they help her onto the truck. They all get into the truck. And they're on their way to the hospital, and you can see the house burning, the entire house burning.
burning within the movie. However, Michael Myers is still in there, but somehow the boogeyman, Michael Myers, survives the fire and he's still alive, all right? Could it be possibly, could he possibly be a superhuman? Or could he possibly really be the boogeyman? Or is something inside him that's protecting him, that's making him this way, and that's making him, well, not die, and making him do all this, all right? That's making him do all this. And so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and so, anyways, um, so, yeah. He survives the fire. He doesn't die. He, he was still trapped in there, and the movie ends there. And then, literally after the credits, literally after the credits, you can hear him breathing, all right? You can hear Michael Myers breathing, indicating that he survived, all right? He really did survive. When I first, I remember when I first saw Halloween 2018 for the first time, <clears throat> I thought it really was going to be the end. I really thought he really was going to die in a fire, which uh, I wasn't too sure but when I heard the breathing again, well, we were all wrong, all right? We were all wrong. As usual, Michael Myers, he can't die. He always survives in the horror movies. He always survives in Halloween. And, um, yeah, he can never be killed. And, yeah, he will always be there no matter what, no matter what you do. Because he can survive... I th if I remember correctly, and if I heard or read, I think he can survive from fire, bullets, being stabbed, and um, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I remember, all right? That's what I remember hearing about it and reading about it on the internet. Oh, hold on. 